In this video, we will derive a very important formula of complex analysis which is Euler's formula. So, in the previous video, I told you that e raised to the power iota theta is equal to cos theta plus iota sin theta. So, this is the Euler's formula. In this video, we will derive this formula. So, let's get started. So, to derive Euler's formula, you will need to know some stuff like the series expansion of sin x, cos x and e raised to our x. So, first thing that how we will derive this formula. We will write the series expansion of sin x, cos x and e raised to power x. Then, we will convert this x on e raised to our x as iota y or you can do with iota theta. It's the same thing. Then we will solve that and see if series expansions of sin x and cos x appear there or not. And then when we will solve it, we will see that it appears like cos y plus iota sin y, which is Euler's formula. So now let's get started. Now the series expansion of sin x is easy. x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power 5 by 5 factorial minus x to the power 7 by 7 factorial and so on like this now cos x have 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x to the power 4 by 4 factorial minus x to the power 6 by 6 factorial and so on now let's write the series expansion of e raised to power x they are very easy to remember you can see a simple pattern in their series expansion now these are basically the Taylor series expansion of sin x around point zero which are also Maclaurin series expansion of sin x and cos x now e raised to power x is equal to 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial this is the most easy one x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power 4 by 4 factorial i am writing it a little long because we need these terms here so x to the power 5 by 5 factorial plus x to the power 6 by 6 factorial and so on now we have these series expansions now we just have to change this x as iota y then solve and then we will simply get the euler's formula so now let's put x is equal to iota y. Now e raised for iota y is equal to 1 plus iota y plus iota y whole square by 2 factorial plus iota y whole cube by 3 factorial plus iota y raised for 4 by 4 factorial plus iota y raised for 5 by 5 factorial plus iota y raised for 6 by 6 factorial and so on now let's solve this e raised for iota y is 1 plus iota y iota square is minus 1 so minus y square by 2 factorial here is iota square which is minus 1 and iota so minus iota y cube by 3 factorial and here is iota square is minus 1 and minus 1 whole square is 1 so plus y raised for 4 by 4 factorial here iota square is minus 1 another iota square is minus 1 there will be a iota left which will be a plus iota so iota y raised for 5 by 5 factorial plus iota square is minus 1 and minus 1 raised to the power 3 is minus so here will be a minus minus y raised to the power 6 by 6 factorial and so on now we will just rearrange this to get iota terms on one side and without iota terms on other side so we get 1 minus y square by 2 factorial and plus y raised to our 4 by 4 factorial and a minus y raised to our 6 by 6 factorial and so on here plus iota and we get a y and a minus y cube by 3 factorial and a plus y raised to our 5 by 5 factorial minus and so on here will be a minus and then plus minus plus minus so this is just so on so take a look at here 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x raised to our 4 by 4 factorial is 1 minus y square by 2 factorial plus y is 4 by 4 factorial minus y for 6 by 6 factorial so this 
is similar to this right this is same as this so cos y plus iota this is the series expansion of sin x which is this x minus x cube by 3 factorial y minus y cube by 3 factorial plus y raised power 5 by 5 factorial and then so on so sin y so we saw that e raised to iota y is equal to cos y plus iota sin y so we can write it as it is iota theta is equal to cos theta plus iota sin theta so this is how we derive the euler's formula this is the euler's formula and this was its derivation so in the exam they can ask you to derive euler's formula and you have to do this like this thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything